Hello, let's do uh, section 3.10. Let's do number 34. The problem is reading the radius of a circular disk is given as 24 centimeters. So we have a circular disk with the radius of 24 centimeters. And a possible error in measurement of point two. So possible error of point two centimeter. Part A is asking us to find maximum area, maximum error. in the calculated area of the disk. Okay, so I have a circular disk. I know that the area equals to pi r squared. So dA dr equals to two pi r. And this follows that dA equals to 2 pi r dr. So notice that this was derivative and this is differential. Going to the next page. So when r or radius is 24 and dr equals to 0 0.2, I have dA equals to 2 pi times the radius times the error, which is 0.2, and that gives me 9.6 pi, which roughly approx approximately equals to 9, no, 2, approximately close enough to 30, centimeter score. Once again, you look at this and you say this is lots of error in a disk that size, and you're right. But once again, in real life, we almost never encounter maximum possible error. Part B wants us to, uh, part B has two parts. The first part is asking for uh, relative error in calculating the area of the disk. What is it that we know about relative error? We know that delta A divided by theoretical A is approximately equal to, close enough to dA over A. Well, we know what dA is from previous page. We know that dA was 2 pi r dr, okay, divided by the theoretical area pi r squared. Notice that if I simplify this, I get 2 dr over r. And so this equals to 2 times 0 0.2 divided by 24, which is approximately equal to 0 0.016. And so that's the relative error in calculating the area of the, the disk. Much, much better. Now, the, uh, the author is also asking for percentage error. Percentage error. I don't have to work hard for that. All I do is multiply my uh, relative error by 100. So I'm going to have 0 0.016 times 100. And that gives me 1.6%. I hope you like this example.